Hello guys, what's up? It's your girl Venerine Lumata, the one loved and amazingly spoiled by God. In this video, we'll be talking about numero dos of the tabernacle. So in the last video, we spoke about the outer court and today we will be talking about the holy place and holy of holies. But before we go ahead, we've got new subscribers. You guys are welcome to the family. In case you don't know who I am, I'm just a regular girl who loves talking about Jesus and, and the Christian faith. So this channel is about faith and lifestyle. In a couple of months, you'll be seeing more lifestyle videos. For now, let's enjoy the faith videos. If you've got video suggestions feel free to let me know and thank you for sharing the videos it really encourages me so in the last video we spoke about the outer court the elements that were mentioned where we had the gate which represented Jesus we had the altar of sacrifice the cross killing the flesh blood and we had the labor which represents the word of God and today we're gonna move on to the holy place and holy of holies so before entering into the holy place, there were five pillars that were used to hold the door. These five pillars represent the five ministries we have in the Christian faith. So we've got the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, pastor and preacher. So we've got the apostle. The apostle is like the thumb. The thumb can touch every other finger. So when you call someone an apostle, it means the person has operated in all of these offices and the person, like we can call them like the high priests, you know. The prophet is the pointing finger, the evangelist is the longest finger that he goes into the world and preaches the gospel to get lost souls. And then we've got the pastor one and then the teacher. The teacher is a small thing. Like, it doesn't necessarily mean that's the least important. But little finger goes into every area and brings out the truth. Why do we have these five pillars? Why do we have these five ministries? This door was called the truth. Okay, so we have the five pillars holding the truth, which is the door into the holy place. In the holy place, the first element we have is the sevenfold lampstand, as you can see in the picture. So, olive oil was constantly being administered here in order for this light to shine. The oil represents the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit enables us to be the light. Remember Jesus said, you are the light of the world. So the next element is a table of showbread. Here we've got 12 loaves of bread and they represent the 12 tribes of Israel. Bread is a metaphor for spiritual and physical satisfaction. Remember Jesus said he is the bread of life. So he is what we need to live. So we've got the table of incense. Yeah. The incense was being burned night and day, like every day. There's a song called Worthy of It All, and there's a part of the song which, which says, they and night, night and day, let incense arise. So I think it comes from this part because the incense was constantly being burned, and this represents worship and exaltation. God loves it, like it's a sweet smelling offering unto God. So this is it about the holy place. We've got the lampstand, the table of showbread, and the table of incense. Move now to the holy of holies. Here we can see the veil separating the holy place from the holy of holies. This veil was called the life. So remember Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He was simply saying that he is the way into the tabernacle every section of the tabernacle is introduced by jesus the gates the door and the way into the holy of holies so now we move into the holy of holies in the holy of holies we had just the ark of the covenant you can see the two cherubims and element
in the Holy of Holies, just the high priest was allowed to enter. So there were priests and there were high priests. It's like you have a bishop and you have an archbishop. And if he entered into the Holy of Holies with any form of sin, he was gonna die. So before getting into the Holy of Holies, they'll put a chain on his leg. So after encountering God, after meeting with God, if he dies because he had sin or because of any trespass or any iniquity, he was going to be pulled out because nobody's allowed to enter. If the person enters, the person's going to die. So they're going to pull the, 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 the high priest out of the Holy of Holies. So the Holy of Holies was where the, the concentration of God's presence was highest. And the most interesting thing is when Jesus died, the Bible says the curtain separating the holy place and the holy of holies in the temple got torn from top to bottom like if it got torn from the bottom would be like okay someone tore it but it got torn from top to bottom it means god himself tore this why because jesus had been glorified and now you and i we have access into the holy of holies isn't that great i mean a place where the high priest was allowed to get into just once in a year you are like me small lumata i'm having access into the holy of holies at any given time as far as i'm right with god oh my god wow i mean this is this is the whole sense of this video like for us to understand the magnitude of what we have to do to understand how important we have to treat our bodies because our bodies represent today that temple that tabernacle because before they were always carrying this tent the children of israel always moved from place to place and not until solomon built a temple they always needed to build this temple and carry all of this equipment The Bible says, you are the temple of God, like you are the living tabernacle. God's presence can also dwell in us through the Holy Spirit. So I think this is something that as a child of God, you should be excited about. It's something you need to, you do not want to take this for granted. There's no way you can escape from God, like he's, he lives in you. As far as you've accepted Jesus into your life as your Lord and Savior, you've given your life to Christ, you have the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit dwells in you. That is, you have the presence of God in you. And that's why it's very important for us to keep this outer cord, like this body, this what we see holy because it affects the person that is inside it affects the presence of god that's inside of us we think some people have this presence more than the others why because they activate theirs like they are activating that power each and every day they are feeding that spirit each and every day meanwhile some some of us do not care like we care less i mean we're just christians and that's it you know but there's more to that there's more to us than just what we see this and which is the spirit of god so the tabernacle was a movable tent and it was called the dwelling place it was also called the tent of meeting and it had just one way that one way was the gate on the east side and that is a metaphor for jesus like that gate was jesus and when you open the gate the first thing you see is the altar of sacrifice when you give your life to christ the first thing you experience after confessing your sin and repenting is the forgiveness through his blood and to also start encountering the killing of our flesh the killing of our bodies of our fleshly desires and then from there we go to the labor which is the word of god even though you've you've been forgiven you've killed you've killed your flesh you are still in this world like even if you don't go and look for sin sin comes to you you are still you're still bound to temptations and everything so you that's why we need the word of god to look ourselves to examine ourselves through and then we have the holy of holies we've got the holy place the door to the holy place was called the truth and this truth was being held by the five by five pillars these five pillars 
represents the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, and the teacher. In the holy place, we have three objects, which were the lampstand for light illumination, the anointing, the Holy Spirit, and then the table of showbread for satisfaction, and the table of incense for worship exaltation. From there, we move to the holy of holies. And in the Holy of Holies, there we have the Ark of the Covenant. And that's where the concentration of the presence of God was highest. Just the high priest went into the Holy of Holies once in a year. And there was a probability that he's going to die if he entered into the Holy of Holies with sin. And the whole of this tabernacle, everything about it represents our Christian work, our faith today and we are the temple of the holy spirit we are the dwelling place of god through his spirit so do not take that for granted be aware of this and know what you're doing with your body and know what you are consuming with your five senses if they glorify god and all that especially if you are a christian and you've taken the decision to follow god so that's it for this video i hope you learned a thing or two if you've not watched the first part please do watch the first part until next time take care bye